Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode number 203. In today's episode, we're going to start it off with some King of the Ring rewards, but unfortunately we did not make it to the final, which means no SummerSlam card, which kind of sucks. Let's have a quick look, and again, it is my own fault. I forgot to energise for the third round of the semi-finals. I forgot to actually energise for the first round as well, so... I could have very well made it to the final and got on a SummerSlam card, um, but that's my fault. Hopefully, I can uh, do better in the future. In future King of the Rings, maybe set alarms and stuff like that. Because when it comes to just remembering to energize, I always forget. So that kind of sucks. But let's get on to our rewards, which is two WrestleMania cards. We're looking for pros here, which is Neville, uh, any pretty much most females. Um, Neville, I already said. Who else? Roman Reigns. I think that's pretty much it. Let's get into this, guys. Three, two, one. Alexa Bliss. This is awesome reward. I'd have really been happy with that. Oh, wait. No, that's a pro, isn't it? That's a pro! Yes, that is a pro! Oh, my God. I just realised. Of course, that's a pro. That is sick. Okay. What a start to this. Can we get another really good card? Boom. Nia J What? What awesome King of the Ring rewards. Two females. And I've never gotten an Nia Jax before WrestleMania and a pro Alexa Bliss. That really, two females, that literally couldn't have gone any better. That is pretty awesome. What that means is we're going to get straight back into another King of the Ring. And we're going to go ahead and pro this Alexa Bliss. As you can see right there, she is a pro. I'm obviously not going to perfect pro her because there's no point in it. I've got all my... Got all my females I need uh, in my deck, so that is just catalog. But I'm really, really happy about that. And we're going to quickly go on to female WrestleMania, and we're going to go ahead and find Nia Jax, and we're going to go lock her in. So that is a very, very good. Um, well, well, kind of moving on with this female catalog for WrestleMania. Alexa Bliss is now done. We're missing a Becky Lynch and a Charlotte Flair, and then pros of of these four gals right here as five with Naomi. So yeah, pretty cool, very happy with that actually. It kind of makes up for not getting a SummerSlam card. That is two things that gets us a bit further in the WrestleMania catalog. I'll see you guys in just a little bit for uh, the preview of the ring RTG, the preview of the RTG. I wonder who it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be coming out Wednesday, tomorrow, yeah, it will be coming out tomorrow, so this first little segment will be uploaded with the other part, so, yeah. And let's quickly have a look at this team, RTG for Kalisto, I'm very proud of the team, they've done absolutely amazing, I'm going to go into the team breakdowns in just a bit, but let's go through this, um, Rusev, Bubba Ray, Roy Pack, Apollo Crews, Kurt Hawkins, Dolph Ziggler, Braun Strowman, Baron Corbin, and SummerSlam 17 Kalisto, which is the worst card in the tier, but it's a just it is another card, so we'll definitely take it. We actually did extremely well. By the time I went to bed last night, we were pretty much almost on the Baron Corbin. And most team RTGs, the morning when I wake up, we're normally around Elite Ultimate, so we did really well, and we finished this Kalisto with over six and a half hours to spare. So yeah, big shout out to everyone, especially Flame and Dylan Morgan, King Steamer, all of those did just amazing. Sarah, a main shout out to Flame because he just grinded his ass off in this event. But big shout out to really everybody. Everyone did what they were meant to do, got the points, and we managed to finish this team RTG very easily. So I'll see you guys in just a bit for the RTG preview. Um, maybe some Battleground rewards. It had to happen eventually, guys, with Battlegrounds. I fucked up. All on me. We load our decks, obviously, to put uh, cards to train up in the Team RTG. And uh, I started a Battleground while we were in WrestleMania tier. So, yeah, Team Award tier WrestleMania. It means we can't get a SummerSlam from this. So I said to people, look, you don't have to charge. Do whatever you can, but just don't bother if... You know, because there is no events out, so it's not really easy to get the charges. So I was just like, don't bother. But they've done actually really well. I've got a little a cut a bit of charges here and there, but not even halfway yet. I'll try and get about 80 charges, but I'll leave it at that. And hopefully it's good enough to win. But who really cares, because we're only going to be getting a WrestleMania card. Thank you guys so much for watching this part. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to episode 200. 
and three. Okay, what we've got is the preview for the RTG. I'm going to get into some King of the Ring as well. We'll show you guys what's going on in King of the Ring. Um, my last pull, I haven't added it on the overlay because I don't want to spoil it. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys might know who I've got and if you... If you saw, I posted it on Twitter basically. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, links are in the description. Cheeky little plug, because I will post kind of things like that on Twitter a little bit earlier. So you guys get to know who I got. But yeah, I got my people, so we will go through that. But let's go into King of the Ring first. Then we'll go on to the preview for the RTG. I'm actually doing quite well in this King of the Ring. I do want to shout out a couple people in it though. Um, Gilly, first of all, huge shout out to him. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be close between it's gonna be very close between a lot of people in this in this King of the Ring. But yeah, shout out to Gilly, he's awesome. And shout out to do, 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 where is he? I'm gonna find him where the Adam Adam K fifty three for recognizing me in this King of the Ring in the chat. Absolute legend. There you go. Big shout out to you as well. And a shout out to everyone else in this King of the Ring. Um, but yeah, I am doing pretty well. As you can see in the standings, we're second. Only one game off being first. Also, it is very close behind, though. Uh, three people on joint third with 19 wins and 7 losses. So yeah, they're they're close behind. And uh, and overall, it's going to be a close King of the Ring. Hopefully, we can get a uh, SummerSlam card from this. But yeah, it's all, it's all going to come down to the quarters and the semis, isn't it? So... So that is pretty much it for King of the Ring. This is the deck I am going with for King of the Ring. If you guys want to maybe do the same or, or if you guys are struggling to find decks. Well, this is what I'm using. Uh, the Harley's in the tag. I've got Brock and Alistair Black in this tag as well. Um, I'd love, obviously, like a Fusion Carmella or something to, to replace uh, this one. But for now, that's what I'm rocking there. I could have... That Alexa Bliss WrestleMania I got a pro of... I could have actually perfect proed that and then put Alexa with Mae Young and then Bailey as the solo. That could have worked. Alexa Bliss WrestleMania is better than Carmella WrestleMania, but it seems like a lot of effort for not much gain and probably, hopefully, uh, going to get an upgrade for this Carmella soon, anyways. Okay, so that's what we got in King of the Ring. Let's go quickly into Team Battleground. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the first part of the video, but this is. Oh yeah, I did mention it, but yeah, we're obviously in a WrestleMania battleground. We're only going to get a WrestleMania if we win. We are going to win, but it's not going to be very a big deal. So that's that. And here we go, guys. I've been waiting for this for obviously you know a couple of days. I was praying and hoping that maybe the undercard could be a pro. And I was actually thinking it could after Team RTG then putting the worst card in there, Kalista. I was like, okay, well it wouldn't surprise me if they would just. Get a really shit card. So I was like, who's really shit? Apollo Cruz, Mojo Rolly, and I was like, okay, so just one of those two, please, please. Um, but no, we'll go through who it is in just a sec. But we start off with a legendary instead of an epic, uh, obviously because of the new tier. So it's a legendary Seth Rollins, the architect, Dean Ambrose Survivor, so the current tag team champions. Uh, Jimmy Uso, which is SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Natalia, another champion, AJ Styles, the US Champion, Jey Uso, also Tag Champ with Jimmy, Sasha Banks, your current, do you guys see a theme here? Neville, and then, and then Big Cass, that, he, he, yeah, he, he, he's, he's the SummerSlam, so, there is no way this is just a coincidence. Your Raw Tag Team Champions, one half of your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, your SmackDown Women's Champion, your United States Champion, uh, the other half of your, w of your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, your Raw Women's Champion, and your Cruiserweight Champion. So everyone who won the title, everyone who's just champion pretty much, is here. Except for like Brock Lesnar but, and Jinder Mahal, but... Wow, that's, there's no way that's a coincidence. There's no way all of this, everyone here is, is, a, is a champ, obviously, except Big Cass. And obviously, Kurt Angle's a champ because well, he's Kurt Angle. So, guys, this is what we're going to be going for. I'm really happy, actually, because all being them champs aside, that doesn't really matter. It's just a coincidence, cool coincidence, or maybe it's not even a coincidence. Maybe they meant to do it. Um, Sasha Banks is a pro, so that is that done for my ultimate catalogue. There's only two more cards now, Dana Brooke 
and no Dana Brooke and um, oh, who's the other one? Big E, but I've also obviously haven't got a Nikki Bella yet. So there's that. But that's that's that. Neville's a pro, uh, which is cool. Another thing in the catalogue. Big Cass obviously isn't, and then Kurt Angle, which is a pro. So yeah, guys, no, not much gameplay on that. But let me quickly show you guys who my pity pool was, and I will obviously change it on the latest pool for the next episode. But I am very, very happy to announce it's not, it's not a pro. I, I don't know why my mouse was lingering on, on uncombinable there. I, yeah, it, it's not. But it is, it is really cool, and I'm really, really happy. It's literally becoming one of my favourite tag teams ever. Actually, like Beer Money is my favourite tag team ever. Past, present, maybe future, but this team, since they've turned heel, are just fantastic. And you guys can probably guess who this is. Well, one of them, at least. You know, it's a 50-50 chance, and it is indeed Jey Uso. There he is. At the bottom. There he is. It's a, such a sick picture. I love it. I was actually really happy with that. And it's actually my best card. How the hell is Apollo Crews... Above Ty didn't what? Oh, okay, because 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 of the games played. Okay, I was about to say that is just ridiculous, but yeah, I chucked him in a team RTG thinking he might be an undercard very soon. So because I pulled him and obviously Jason Jordan wasn't gonna be, and obviously Kalisto wasn't gonna be. Well, actually, team RTG was to get Kalisto, so I didn't even have Kalisto and and well, yeah, Ty was my freebie, but he's more mid card, so I put him in there. Because I thought they would have him in the RTG, but obviously they don't. But yeah, guys, how many do we have now? Two, four, six, seven with Kurt Angle, eight with Big Cass, and then obviously just a pro Kurt Angle, which is going to be fucking awesome to have a pro Kurt Angle. Can't wait to get it. Um, this is how we've tokened Kurt Angle, obviously. With a pro, you, you can, you're going to be able to do all of the stats, except obviously like the proc, but maybe, maybe just... We'll put one in the proc, actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get one in the proc. That could maybe be worth, I'm not sure, but we'll see about that. But yeah, looking forward to that. Alright guys, that is literally going to wrap up the video. Um, sorry for, yeah, just talking about a lot of stuff there, not actually getting into much gameplay. But there isn't really much gameplay to do actually right now. Um, I've been doing a little bit of money in the bank when I can. We're on 36,500 contract. It's not bad, but... It's not good enough. I'm going to try and try to do a little bit better. Try and get onto 40k um, sooner rather than later and see what the next rewards are. But in my my guess and my, my, my head is telling me that they're just going to give us another round of WrestleMania cards. Because that's what they did um, when WrestleMania tier came out. They gave us another round of Ultimate cards after the tier came out. Which was Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens. The fast lane cards. So, yeah. Who knows? Maybe, 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 just, just maybe, it'll be another round of uh, of uh, of WrestleMania 33 cards. Who could it be? The last pay per view was SummerSlam. Could be. But there's a SummerSlam tier, so maybe the card lines won't be SummerSlam. What what pay per view have we had since Battleground? Only SummerSlam. So no, they will be definitely. They sh they should be at least. I'm gonna say they're gonna be SummerSlam cards. Or SummerSlam themed. So yeah, and I'm guessing it's going to be, ah, oh, it would be so messed up if they were SummerSlam themed, but WrestleMania tier, instead of SummerSlam themed and SummerSlam tier. God, I hope they give us SummerSlam cards, and also hope that it's not too many contracts, because obviously I really want to be able to get a pro of that, and I am going to try and grind it. Um, I, th I think I think if there's 15 into 22, and they were about, so, oh, maybe, maybe 30k? Maybe just under, maybe just over 30k, or maybe just around around 28 and 32k, I would say, for for uh, Summer Slam cards. But who knows? As I, as I said, they might just give us more WrestleManias. I'm going to remain optimistic, even though I said I think they'll give us more WrestleManias. But now I'm going to choose to be optimistic and say they're going to give us Summer Slam cards. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do drop it a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, RTG preview, let me know if Big Cast or anything like that is a pro for you guys. I am working tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that, the next three days, insane schedule, insane uh, work hours because there's a massive thing going on where I live here in Switzerland. It's like a big international reunion for 
uh, cars, so I work at the swimming pool with the camping, so it's going to be absolutely crowded, and I'm going to be working my ass off. So I can't guarantee I'm going to be streaming over the three days, but what I can guarantee is I will try and get one lengthy uh, stream in there, but maybe it's only going to be one during this whole RTG. And that kind of disappoints me, but this is kind of the last weekend or I mean I might be working next week but it, it's gonna be very calm from now on and two more weeks and then I'm gonna really really try and get into streaming once every two days if not once every day so do drop it a like guys sorry for rambling on there but yeah drop it a like see you guys in the next video till then take care and peace out